Welcome back to part two of my of the showdown between Ben, Mark, and Corey. And Corey has a turn at the moment. He has nine hundred dollars. We're currently in puzzle number two, and I await what he wants to do now. Good spin. Okay, you just found a couple of eyes. Nice work. It was interesting. We saw the opening. I really thought that we'd be able to see that he's more close. Five hundred, Corey. Five hundred dollars. Uh, it is. There is one end. One end. You're keeping it going. And it looks like John decided to go. Fourteen hundred dollars, Corey. What do you want to do? How about an O? There are three O's. Yeah, I think you might be glad you did that. There are three O's. Oh, I got it now. Let's spin. All right. Good job. Two hundred. But I think we should do a little search around here. Two hundred dollars. G. There is one G. One G. Well, let's take that final spin. Okay. Nice work. Four hundred. Four hundred dollars. There are two D's. Two D's. Now there come the D's, Corey. All right, twenty-one hundred fifty dollars. Would you re would you go ahead and read what's up there, please? Doctor's diagnosis. That's it. Yeah. Corey, you redeemed yourself after that first round mishap. You're now in the lead with $2,150. Let's go to our third round now. There's a $3,500 space on the wheel and a new prize. And it's a thing. And I don't think Mark is back yet, so I guess I'll have to the play for him. The category is thing. Round three starts with player three. Good luck. Nine hundred. Nine hundred dollars. Um, a key. There is one key. That's correct. A boy, a girl, and a collie. Yes, you are a boy also. No, no, no. They'll take your word for it. Here, have a treat. You might listen to the dog treats and this amazing night of meatballs and sausages and yes, these are chicken jerky. 100% real jerky. Oh my goodness. Oh, get out of there. Get it. Yes, 600. They do look $600. Nice. Brainiac. The um, is there an F? There are no F. No. Contestant number one, it's your turn. Well, now it's Corey's turn, and 
I don't think Mark's going to be too happy about this. So let's spin. No. Two fifty. Two hundred and fifty dollars. H. There is one H. Mm -hmm. One H. Yes, it was. So to save some money, we taught our five-year-old how to duck. Two fifty, Corey. Let's spin again. Okay. Good job. Well, and believe it or not, I think I might know it. Six hundred. Six hundred dollars. No, actually, it's not what I think it is. F, he says. S, did you say? S, yes. There are no S. No, there's no S. Ben, it's your turn. Which may be evidence of a Sasquatch caught on tape. I am still wrong if you are a natural force. Contestant number two, it's your turn. Ben, Mr. Nolden. Uh-huh. Who's that up there? There's something on the hill. Wow, did I just see a Sasquatch? Well, oh, slow down, slow down. Oh, sorry, Ben, I'll lose a turn. Lose a turn. Ouch! Now we're back over to the invisible mark right now. Contestant number three, it's your turn. I think I'm going to buy an E. There is one E. Whoa. Just that one. I guess I'll just spin. Uh oh. And it's a bankrupt. Sorry, but you landed on bankrupt. Oh well. Well. I guess we'll get a chewing out from Mark. Contestant number one, it's your but turn. But in the meantime, Corey, we're back to you. Let's spin. No, you're filming as long as you can. I did film it. It was going to move away. It was moving toward me. You're not going to catch a swatch in front of the dark. There's no way. It's like seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars. And there are two ends. Two ends, and that's the letter that I was fixing to go with. Now you have sixteen hundred fifty dollars, Corey. What would you like to do? I. There are no I. There is no I. I'm sorry, and that's just the way this round has been going. Ben, try it again. Ben, there's no I. number two. There's no I. It's my turn. As the silhouette of somebody wearing clothes. The only thing that makes me think maybe it wasn't Ben was because you got it wet. Well, it's in order because you don't have any money. Well, 
I play for you because John decided to leave, and I had nine hundred dollars. I got a T and I scooped, and then then I got the turn back, and then unfortunately I spun a bankrupt. Ben, you just spun three hundred. What letter do you want? There are no L. There is no L either. Mark, your turn. What kind of puzzle is this? Obviously, it's a hard one. Contestant number three, it's your turn. Two. Okay, I'll spin. Oh, no, wait a minute. Three. Okay, I'll spin. Okay. There are two C's. Yeah, there are two C's. Good for you. That's a thousand dollars, Mark. What would you like to do? Okay. Okay. And I just figured it out. Good job. Mm-hmm. $250. $250. R. There is one R. One R. You're one R. You're up to twelve fifty, Mark. Well? All right. That's correct. I don't remember it. A lot of stuff here in one of my games on my emulator, but I don't know. Anyway, four fifty. Four hundred and fifty dollars. All right, let's get the B up there. There is one B. There is one B. Let us come up. Now, Mark, up to seventeen hundred dollars. You can request that. And now everything else is a vowel. Uh, do you care to solve it? Uh, yeah, I don't need that last vowel. I'd like to solve some Go ahead. Corn on the cob, yeah. $1,700. And believe it or not, we have only $450 separating first and second, and $1,950 separating first from third. For round four, we have a $5,000 space on the wheel and a new prize. This is a $3,000 bracelet. The category is person, and this is a very, very, very cheap puzzle. The category is person. How cheap is it? <laughs> oh my god! We'll start with player one. That's small. I'm afraid so, Mark. Um, that man was cheap. Uh, that would be cheap. He could be here a while. 500, Mark. $500. Uh, there are no T. There's no T. Or I mean, uh, Corey, I should say. That was actually Corey's turn. I'm sorry about that. I've been, I've been so mixed up. So that's okay. But Corey, would you have said T yourself? I might have, but... Uh, I apologize about that. It's alright. It's Ben's turn. Yeah, that's good. Well, Corey, if you would have called that yourself, there are other keys up there anyway, so it's okay. Alright. Well, let's just say that, that Corey would have called the same thing. We had come up.
And in fact, just for, in all fairness, $500. $500. Ben, $500. Loud crashing off in the distance. It was hot. In that direction. There are no R. There is no R. And since I messed up, uh, since I accidentally had Marco first yeah, instead of Corey. Contestant number three, it's your turn. It's only fair that we let Corey pick one now, even though it's not his turn. Yeah. So, after this turn, after we, this go around is over, we'll switch back to the normal position. So, although Corey, you're going to get a couple of, though so Corey, you're not really technically going to lose your turn if you call a wrong letter, but, uh, let's see what happens. Two fifty. Two hundred and fifty dollars. There are no. There is no end. I have not to be no Contestant number one, it's your turn. Okay, now we're starting with a clean slate. Now, Corey, you're in your respective position, so spin it again. Yeah, that was my mistake. That was an oversight that I saw. Nine hundred. Nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred, Corey. Alright. Uh, how about an L? There are no. There is no L, Ben. Contestant number two, it's your turn. Yeah. There's no L. Ben, you want to solve the puzzle or do you want to spin it? <laughs> Put it in there. If I solve that, I might be a Three fifty. Three fifty, Ben. Uh, okay, there's no T, though. Is there an S? There are no. There is no S. Holy cow! Well, this is exciting. Yeah. Contestant number three, it's your turn. Mark, your turn now. This looks like a bonus round puzzle to me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it really should be. Four hundred. Well, yes, there was some sound. Four hundred dollars. All right. Um, is there a D? There are no. There is no D either. Very similar. Oh my goodness! Oh, that was Contestant number one, it's your turn. And before Corey can. And before Corey can make his turn, we're going to have to stop for part one, part two rather, and I'll see you guys for part three.